Hello and welcome to the second episode of Learn English with Photos. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at some of the vocabulary and expressions relating to breakfast. So, let's get started. This is a photo I took at a guest house offering bed and breakfast accommodation on the Isle of Arran in Scotland. Now, I don't normally have a big breakfast, but since it was included in the price and you could have whatever you wanted from the menu, which we'll look at later, I decided to make an exception, especially as you need a lot of energy for climbing those Scottish mountains. When you stay in a and b you're often given the choice between a full English breakfast, or cooked breakfast, and a lighter continental breakfast. Although I suppose you'd have to call this a full Scottish breakfast, it's basically the same as the English version, except for the bowl of porridge which I had to start. Porridge is a typical Scottish breakfast dish and is made from oats cooked in water or milk and served hot. OK, let's see what I've got on my plate. These are scrambled eggs, which is a bit like an omelette, but made by stirring the eggs in the pan. Here we have baked beans in tomato sauce, very popular in Britain and often served on toast. These sausages were made with beef, but uh, pork sausages are probably more common. This is black pudding, a thick sausage with a black skin, which is made from pork fat and pig's blood. I know it sounds disgusting, but actually the taste is quite subtle and delicate. And this is a potato scone. Potato scones are a form of bread in which potato replaces a portion of the regular wheat flour. They're very popular in Ireland and Scotland. Now let's look at some of the other items on the table. Here you can see individual servings of butter and margarine. On the left is a pot of coffee and next to it is a sugar bowl with a spoon sticking out. The empty glass here contained fruit juice. Behind the glass is a toast rack with one slice of white toast and one slice of brown toast. I think the bottle contains honey for the porridge. To eat your food you need a knife and fork and I used a spoon to eat the porridge. You can see it in the bowl here. The collective term for these utensils is cutlery. The food is served on a plate and the plate is resting on a placemat. This is my daughter's rather more frugal breakfast. She's got a boiled egg served in an egg cup, fried tomato, one sausage and a potato scone. Now let's have a look at the menu. As you can see it's quite extensive. The breakfast buffet consists of items to which you can help yourself. Cereals, fruit, yogurt and so on. Note that if you want porridge you have to order it the day before because it takes a while to cook. For the cooked breakfast, a waiter comes to take your order. As you can see, I didn't have everything on the menu, so I didn't make a complete pig of myself. Note that the items followed by the letter V in brackets are suitable for vegetarians, people who don't eat meat or fish. We've already talked about scrambled eggs and boiled eggs, and you can also have poached eggs. A poached egg is an egg which is cracked open and cooked in boiling water. OK, now let's go through some of the vocabulary we've seen. I'll say each word and you can repeat it after me if you like. The first word is guest house. Guest house. A guest house is a small uh, hotel. If you're staying in a hotel, you're a guest. Bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast. Or B&B. &B. B and b a bed and breakfast is a bit like a guest house, except that it tends to be smaller and of course breakfast is included in the price. And usually the owner or the host lives in the house. Porridge. Porridge. Oats. Oats. Oats are mixed with um, milk or water to make porridge. Baked beans. Baked beans. Baked beans are usually sold in cans or tins. The most famous brand is Heinz. They had a very well-known slogan, Beans means Heinz. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Boiled egg. Boiled egg. The yellow part of the egg, the boiled egg, is called the yolk. That's Y-O-L-K. And the white part is called the white and it's often served with um, thin pieces of toast which are called soldiers. 
Poached egg. Poached egg. To cook a poached egg, you have to break open the egg and then cook it in water, which should be just below boiling point. And we call that simmering. Sausage. Sausage. You can have various types of sausage, such as a beef sausage or a pork sausage. Black pudding. Black pudding. Bread. Bread. The word bread is uncountable, so you cannot say a bread, for instance. Um, to refer to a big piece of bread which has been cooked in one piece, um, and then which you cut up into slices, you would have to use the word loaf, a loaf of bread. Toast. Toast. Toast is bread which has been cooked either in a toaster or perhaps under a grill. Um, you can serve it with butter or jam or marmalade. Slice. Slice. A slice is a thin piece of something which is usually cut with a knife. You can have a slice of lemon, for example, or a slice of toast. And we also talk about sliced bread. Slice is also a verb. Butter. Butter. Butter can be a noun or a verb. For example, you can butter your toast. Honey. Honey. Honey is a sweet, sticky substance which is made by bees. Very good on toast or in porridge. Knife. Knife. Note that the initial K in the word knife is silent. The plural of knife is knives. Fork. Fork. Spoon. Spoon. Cutlery. Cutlery. Cutlery is the collective term for knives, forks and spoons. Coffee pot. Coffee pot. This coffee pot has a handle to hold it by, a lid which you put on the top, and a spout through which the coffee is poured. Glass. Glass. The object from which you drink is a glass, and the material from which it's made is also glass. So you could say, this glass is made of glass. Bowl. Bowl. This bowl has a nice spotted design on it. Plate. Plate. Cup. Cup. Saucer. Saucer. A cup and saucer go together like bread and butter or fish and chips. Menu. Menu. Can I see the menu, please? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. A vegetarian is someone who eats neither meat nor fish. Are you a vegetarian? In this final part of the lesson, you'll get the chance to use some of the language we've studied. I'm going to ask you a series of questions relating to breakfast. I suggest you pause the video while you answer. Try and make your answers as detailed as possible. OK, let's begin. Question 1. What did you have for breakfast today? Question 2. What do you usually have for breakfast? Question 3. What time did you have breakfast today? Question 4. What time do you usually have breakfast? Question 5. Where do you usually eat your breakfast? Question 6. Do you ever have breakfast in bed? Question 7. How important is your breakfast to you? Question 8. Do you prefer to have breakfast alone or with somebody else? Question 9. What do you do while you're eating breakfast? Question 10. Have you ever stayed in a bed and breakfast? Question 11. Can you describe any breakfasts you've had in foreign countries? Question 12. What would you choose from the menu in the photo? Question 13. Is there anything on the menu that you would not eat? Right, that's all for now. I hope you found this lesson useful. If so, look out for the next instalment of Learn English with Photos.